Hello students, today we are doing part 3 from lesson 8 of your science textbook for standard 8, Pollution. So come along then, let's read and understand it. This video was made just for you. Do remember to like, share and subscribe. Now let's see the uh, various air pollutants. Okay, so what are air pollutants? What are the factors responsible for air pollution are called air pollutants. And what is the source of it and what is the effect? What happens because of that? Okay, so source means from where does it come and what happens because of that? So first one is sulfur dioxide and you should also know its uh, chemical uh, formula that is SO2. Then these are the where it comes from factories. Now how is it? Where coal and mineral oil are used as fuel. So when they burn, okay, coal or mineral oil. And what happens? What are the effects of that? There is irritation of the eyes, respiratory tract. That is our breathing right from our windpipe, okay, the trachea, our lungs, everything, all the respiration part of it gets affected. Then there is excess mucus. Mucus means there is a lot of, see, when we fall sick, when we have cough and cold, there is that phlegm that gets stuck up, you know, in our throat and in our nose and all that. So, that is called the excess mucus and we have cough, we have breathing problems, okay. So, breath is also harmed. Second one is carbon monoxide. So, it is CO2. How it is caused? By vehicular and industrial smoke. Then what happens because of that? The oxygen level goes down. So, lowered oxygen level. Carrying capacity of the blood. So, um, our um, blood cannot carry a lot of oxygen because we are not breathing oxygen so much. Okay. So, because of that, oxygen cannot be circulated in our blood. The third is oxides of nitrogen. Okay, so nitrogen oxides, vehicular smoke. Okay, this also comes from the smoke that is given out by vehicles. So, what is the effect of that? Irritation of respiratory tract. Again, all our respiration right from our nose when we are breathing in to our windpipe. Okay, and uh, it goes to the trachea, to the lungs. Everything is affected and as well as the oxygen supply also is affected because of that. And the lungs. So, the whole... Uh, tract okay respiratory tracts get affected the fourth is particulate uh, matter now this is also because of the vehicular and industrial smoke okay so the matter that comes out okay in the form of soot okay uh, again we have respiratory diseases because of this then there is dust and what causes it it is vehicular and industrial smoke then what is the disease that we have is we have silicosis then we have pesticides, production and use of pesticides. So, when we are using pesticides, even when producing the pesticides as well as when using the pesticides, both the ways, okay. Now, what are pesticides? Pesticides are the uh, chemicals or any medicine that is sprayed on the crops to drive away the pest. Pest are insects, okay, to kill the insects or to drive away the insects. So, even producing the pesticides as well as using the pesticides. Then we will have mental weakness. Our mental health is affected because of that. Because the brain is affected. And due, death due to prolonged exposure. So, if you have con continuous exposure, when you are exposed to it, when you are around some pesticides, maybe workers working in the factory, as well as the farmers using it, workers using it in the farms. So, they may have even death due to this exposure. Then we have methane, that is CH4. Um, industrial leakage. Okay, so industries also give out a lot of uh, leaks out. Okay, the methane gas is leaked out when they uh, do uh, a lot of production and everything. So, this is poisoning the skin. Uh, it, it is very poisoning. Then skin cancer happens, asthma and respiratory diseases. So, these are some of the causes that happen. So, air pollutants, sources and effects. This is what we saw. Now, do you know, worst ever industrial accident had been occurred in Bhopal on the night of 2nd December 1984. Okay, so there was a very bad industrial accident. What happened? Because of that, there was the uh, gas that leaked out from one of the factory in Bhopal. Okay, and 8,000 people had been 
died due to accidental gas leak so the, there was a lot of gas leak all of a sudden in the night it happened and so people were sleeping so they couldn't you know by the time they were affected large number of people had already died okay and the effect is still felt among the people okay so it is being transferred from one generation to the other the soil is still you know, polluted because of that gas air is still polluted because of that gas so it has affected large number of people and the effect is still seen after more than you know nearly 30 years now collect more information about bhopal gas accident discuss the nature of accident reason after effects preventive measures okay so what are the reasons for the accident what are the after effects because of this what happened to the people what happened to the land what happened to the uh, air and water and what are the preventive measures they took what uh, to control this or to stop this or to lessen this effect what were the measures taken now let's read about the effect of air pollution on plants and animals so plants as well as animals are affected because of that not only human beings but all uh, environment of the nature so the stomata gets closed what is stomata stomata are the openings okay in the holes small holes that are there in the leaves okay to uh, for the exchange of gases that happens because plants take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen so their stomata gets closed so the leaves close the stomata because they cannot take the pollutants in isn't it then slowing down of rate of photosynthesis so because of that they cannot have photosynthesis so the photosynthesis gets affected and uh, it is a slow process the slow process of photosynthesis happens then growth is retarded that is the plants don't grow well because naturally na, they are not able to produce food so they cannot have good growth uh, growth is retarded it is stopped it goes slowly and leaves fall off or become yellow so these are the reasons uh, effects to the plants now animals again animals again like human beings the respiration is adversely affected again they also cannot breathe very well and irritation of the eyes so they also get affected because of air pollution now can you recall what is the importance of ozone layer you all have learnt about the ozone layer no? there is a layer of uh, uh, ozone on in our environment which helps us to protect us from the harmful rays of the sun and what are the reasons for depletion in ozone layer depletion means why is this ozone layer getting less and less there is a big hole that is happening okay so can you recall you have already learnt about it in the lower standards so can you recall what are the importance of ozone layer and what are the reasons for depletion in the ozone layer and to check your answers you can visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com you'll get the link in the description box let's understand the effects of air pollution on plants and animals in detail now first and foremost what happens is there is a depletion in the ozone layer what does a depletion mean we have learned that there is an ozone layer and so this ozone layer is becoming uh, smaller and smaller earlier we have studied that ozone layer is present below the stratosphere at the height of 48 kilometers from earth's surface so we know that there are different layers to uh, the earth's atmosphere and just below the stratosphere at a height of 48 kilometers from the earth's surface there is this ozone layer now what does it do it protects the living world of the earth from ultraviolet rays these are also called uvb radiation from the sun However, nowadays, ozone layer is getting depleted due to the following reasons. It is becoming lesser and lesser. And what are the reasons behind it? One is the greenhouse effect and global warming. Okay, though carbon dioxide is present in very less quantities at pres at, uh, in the atmosphere. Okay, there is carbon dioxide in the atmosphere but it is on very less quantity. It plays very important role of absorption of solar heat okay so all the solar heat that comes it absorbs it now over the last hundred years proportion of carbon dioxide has been increased due to industrialization so large number of industries coming up so therefore what has happened is we are giving out lot of carbon dioxide and so what happens because of that so effect of this carbon dioxide on the earth's temperature is nothing but the greenhouse effect so it is acting like a greenhouse effect so carbon dioxide is increasing 
and similarly to um, similar to carbon dioxide nitrous oxide methane and cfc also trap the heat so they are not allowing the heat to move out collectively these are called as greenhouse gases so which are the greenhouse gases we have carbon dioxide we have nitrous oxide we have methane and we have cfc now global temperature is gradually increasing due to greenhouse effect so this uh, what is the uh, this gas is doing they are trapping the heat they are not allowing the heat to move out so the global temperature temperature around the whole globe around uh, the whole world it is it gradually increasing slowly increasing and due to this atmosphere is changing causing disturbance in agricultural yield disturbance of wild animals icebergs and glaciers are melting causing increase in sea level so all are the all these are the effects first of all there is change in agricultural yield that is the uh, the crops that are growing okay so they are not sufficient then distribution of wild animals wild animals are moving away from the heat zones they can't bear the heat so they are going away from it some are even not able to survive the new environment so they die then icebergs and glaciers are melting icebergs are ice in the sea and glaciers are the collection of snow that happens on land so these are melting and therefore what is happening they the sea level is going high so all these are the ill effects of uh, the greenhouse uh, gases that uh, is there that they are emitting you can follow the picture given uh, over here also now the next we are going to study is about acid rain now let's learn what it is oxides of sulfur and nitrogen are released into the atmosphere through burning of coal timber and fuel oils okay so all these gases are given out now those oxides mix with rain water and form oxides like sulfuric acid nitric acid nitrous acid etc and these acids mix with rain drops and snowflakes and come down as rain called as acid rain so you can follow the picture given uh, figure 8.6 so this is what is happening when we burn fuels so all these are the oxides which form uh, mix with the clouds and the rain and they come down in the form of acid okay and they damage animals and plants so we are also affected because of it now effects of acid rain acidity of soil and water bodies increases so this acidic rain falls on the soil as well as in the water so both the acidity of the soil as well as water bodies increases and it harms the aquatic organisms aquatic means the uh, water water bodies okay so organisms living in the water so not only organisms but even plants okay so all organisms that is living things in the water as well as plants and entire forest life is affected because of this now total ecosystem are adversely affected adversely means in a bad manner so they are affected because of this uh, industrialization okay so the all these gases go up they get mixed with the rain clouds and they come down again so in other words we are consuming that food we are consuming the water and it is harming us in general the second point is erosion of buildings so buildings are getting eroded okay because the acid rain falls on the buildings okay so the acid goes into the buildings then burst burst are the statues the uh, you know the half statues that are made around of various uh, you know political figures and important personalities then historical monuments monuments forts and all the historical buildings that have withstood for hundreds of years they get eroded bridges metal idols fire fences etc all this are getting eroded due to the acidic rain then heavy metals like mercury and cadmium are absorbed by up by plants and thereby enter the food chain indirectly due to the acid rain so these metals okay mercury and cadmium they enter the plants okay and then we are consuming the plants isn't it or we are consuming the fruits of the plants so what happens is it goes into our body and affects us also and 
due to acidification of water in water bodies and pipes leaching of metal and plastic material occurs in water and thereby serious health problems arise so because of acidification of the water so uh, water bodies the pipes okay pipe supply water isn't it then leaching of metal leaching means is metals get eroded and they go into the water stream so not only leaching of metal but leaching of plastics also go into the body water body and thereby they create serious health because we are consuming the water directly or indirectly through the plants because the plants take the water and then this metals leach into the plant bodies and we are consuming those plants so water and plants we are consuming so we also get adversely affected preventive measures of air pollution preventive measures means what action should we take in order to stop air pollution or to prevent it one is smoke emerging from factories contains harmful particles hence pollution controlling machinery should be used for example aerators and filters so all these aerators and filters will filter the smoke okay they will not allow the uh, uh, the things you know the soot that comes out the black color part of it okay and will filter the air and allow the air to pass whereas all the pollutants from that will be filtered and so we can take care of it then the second one is proper disposal of stinking waste generated in cities so cities we are using a lot of waste water isn't it we are generating a lot of waste water so this waste water should also not be allowed to pass through the river into the rivers or into the sea then control on atomic test and chemical weapons etc so there is lots of test going on at the atomic centers so that should be controlled and the waste should not be allowed to go into the environment maybe so uh, maybe soil or water or air and control or ban over cfc production so cfc is uh, chlorofluorocarbons they are the compounds of carbon so they should be banned totally okay now do you know air quality index it is important for citizens to know the extent of air pollution in your city so you should know what is how much is the air pollution in your particular city or in your uh, in your you know village or district or wherever you are so as to define the air quality index proportion of sulfur dioxide carbon dioxide and nitrogen dioxide ozone particulate matter etc is measured every day so therefore they measure what are all these gases that come out and how much are they uh, uh, the factories generating it boards indicating the air quality index are displayed in busy squares in metropolitan cities so big cities they are called the metro cities like mumbai delhi kolkata chennai so all these are places where there are special boards put up to show to tell the citizens that this is what is the pollution in your city now do you know air pollutants with sulfur cause color change in paints oil paintings nylon cotton fabrics leather articles and paper etc so this is an extra information given for us and so the sulfur uh, affects all these things in our nature do solve the exercise that is given at the end of the lesson and to check your answers you can visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com you'll get the link in the description box below do remember to like share and subscribe 